Good afternoon, folks. Hope you're fine. Let's see what we have on the fundamental grounds and what we have on the candlestick patterns for the next week. That is starting on 1st of July to 5th of July 2024. So let's see what we have on the fundamentals. On 1st of July, we'll be having Canada Day holiday and Hong Kong holiday. And uh, then uh, in the evening uh, we'll be having S&P Global US Manufacturing PMI, ISM Manufacturing PMI and then ISM Manufacturing Prices June on 1st of July. So uh, Monday could be volatile. The start of the day could be illiquid because of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Establishment Day. Uh, you may get some range bound trading but evening would be fun because of uh, the PMIs they are the major economic events and then on Tuesday 2nd of July we'll be having FED chair Powell's peaks and jolts job openings this could bring some volatility FED chair and Powell and then on Wednesday 3rd of July we'll be having United States Independence Day uh, Early close will be observed at 1300 hours and uh, we'll be having ADB non form employment change, initial jobless claim, SP global, ISM non manufacturing PMI, ISM non manufacturing prices, and then we have FOMC meeting minutes. So, 3rd of July uh, would be uh, you know, trading hours would be limited, but expect some great volatility because of these major economic events and we'll be having a holiday on 4th of July United States Independence Day will not be trading on 4th of July and on Friday we'll be having average hourly earnings NFP major economic event unemployment rate and FED monetary policy report so Friday may bring some great volatility because of the weekly close and the investors will be coming back after 4th of July so it could be fun it could be risky and whenever the risk is there the opportunity is also there so this is what we are having on the fundamental grounds and on the candlestick patterns for our chart this is what we are observing right now and uh, if you see the market Previous week was a great week at we made 1794 pips of profits. The video is already shared with you guys. This is the support level 2300 levels, and then we have these are the golden areas you need to keep in your mind, and then this is the top. 23.39 this is the resistance and then we have 23.20 uh, and then we have 2300 levels so this is the market gonna work this is how the market gonna work okay it's very simple if you keep the trading structure in your mind this is how the market worked this is how it played out the last week So, as long as the market is above 23, 20 levels, we expect a bounce at this level. And uh, once 23, 39 is clear, then the market is all good for this previous high at 23, 70. The previous high at 23, 70. And once this is done, than 23.86 the previous high
2386, the previous high. So this would be the plan of action 2370. This is how the game will roll will roll on and if we'll get the resistance at 2339 then the market gonna fall back to 2320 levels and back to 2300 levels right now we are having some bullish bias in the market uh, the momentum is bullish as long as the market is above 2300 levels so shorting could be very risky over here do not short the market as long as the market is holding 23 20 levels if the market breaks this level then you must short the market for 2300 levels if 2339 is clear then get aggressive on your trades for 2370 and 2386 levels we made a weekly close on 2320 levels almost this is the area right now the gold market is getting the resistance if we get the resistance over here then buy the market for 2339 again once this is broken 2370 and 2386 if this is broken then short the market for 2300 levels it's very easy this is the weekly trading plan and uh, You can also see this trading plan on the hourly time frame. This is how it's gonna look like. The support, the support 2320, the resistance 2370, the previous stop, and 2386, the top over here, as on 7th of June 2024. So the trading plan is very easy, no complicated things. All you need to do is watch the price action at these golden levels and then design your trading moves, okay? So let's see how the next week unfolds, what trading opportunities we get and how we gonna capitalize on our profits. Stay managed, stay disciplined and good luck with your trades. Bye.